So I would like to share something with you today and it's actually the difference between ProRes and MP4 after exporting. So it's not the recording basically, it's not where you that you record with a, with a ProRes or MP4, it's actually what happens is after you export. The recording was the same, it was recorded as a MP4 from a Nikon camera with a Nikon flat profile. It was not ProRes, just to make that clear. And I just wanted to share with you what happens is when you export in ProRes or in MP4. So this right here, it's actually the ProRes properties. And uh, you can see that it was filmed at 1080, Apple ProRes. This is the codec that I, I export. This is the export, actually. I got the footage from the camera, which is a 1080, a small Nikon that uh, films in like a flat profile. I grade it, I color correct it, and then I export the thing in ProRes. To see if it's a difference when you export if you if you do it in ProRes or MP4. So now the difference is gonna be the size mostly and something else. For one, you can see here the MP4 it's 15 megabytes compared to 182 megabytes for this recording time. I compress at uh, 10 megabits per second and uh, I think variable speed and it was uh, 13 maybe at uh, the high end. So basically the biggest difference is actually the size. So you know this gets more compressed the MP4 and uh, the ProRes is less compressed and basically this is what you would use if you have to re-edit this type of footage like if somebody asks you to cut some stuff and then said okay just we need to give it to somebody that's gonna edit it and then have a final result. Then I think it's better if you would export as ProRes because it's less compressed and then the people can work with it again. As ProRes Kodak, it doesn't compress it as much. It's it's not raw, but it's almost there and I think it's it's very good. Now the, the downside is the, the size. Before I filmed with the, the Blackmagic Pro Cinema camera and for half an hour it's about 250 megabytes, so uh, 250 gigabytes. So it's a bit, you know, crazy. So you don't want to do everything in ProRes. But it would be good if the cameras today would have both of these options to where you can film in, in ProRes and you can film in MP4. And then you can choose some projects, maybe you need to have it more uncompressed. Yeah, my desk is full, I know. And then uh, some projects maybe you don't. And then that would be a good options. But like you see here, this is the, uh, the, the, the basically the, the two different codecs. Now the difference between them as far as looking at it, is this. This is actually the, the ProRes, right? Result. And then I have here the MP4. Now, you know, looking at it, the first thing that I notice is basically if I go like this, uh, where you notice here, to make it a bit more equal. And this is from the screen also, so now also it's going to get compressed and all that. But anyway, looking at it, what I see is that, I don't know if you can see the same, but the color of the grass, it's different. Like this is more vivid. And also I did color grade it, so I put some green into the shadows. So you can see the car on the right, which is from the ProRes Kodak, it's more greener. And then here it's more, not so much as more bluer. You will think, okay, maybe it's, this doesn't give me accurate color, the MP4. And uh, actually it does. The problem is, is the players. So this is what I found out because I thought, okay, then the ProRes is definitely better, right? Looking at it, I thought, okay, the ProRes, you know, it is definitely better, more vivid. And this one, it's more, you know, duller and it loses some, some, some stuff in the shadows. So then, actually, that's not the case because what happens is, so if you look at it, you know, like I said, this is the difference. And then um, if, I, if I minimize this and then what I do... If I open the same file, the MP4 file, with the QuickTime player, it's exactly the same. So, that's what I'm saying. So, you can see here, this is the MP4, and this, um, this here is the, the ProRes. So, I mean, that's the, 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 there is actually no difference. It's actually, it's the, the players. So, the player of the problem is not necessarily the, the codecs and stuff like that. So, this is what I, what I, you can see this, they look exactly the same. And there's no difference between the two. Here, uh, you can, you know, see here and here, there's, there's no difference between these two. And one, it is an MP4 and the other one, it's a, 
it's uh, ProRes codec, but there is no difference. There's no difference because it's the same exact footage and it's the same exact profile, except this is played with the QuickTime, and it actually somehow QuickTime it gives you back more accurate information, I would say. And this is what I discovered because first I thought, yeah, definitely the, the ProRes is better, but uh, it's actually it makes no difference. You know, it's, it's to me it's 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 uh, it's the same. There is no difference, and this is actually it's not a, a still image. It's actually a video, and uh, it was shot at uh, 60 frames. So then I slowed down to uh, 24 or something. I don't remember, and uh, you can see it's fine. It's actually playing good, and, and this is the MP4. And it's the same thing if I would, you know, if I if I played the other one back. So this is a ProRes one, and it's the same the same thing, and they look exactly the same. Now I'm gonna see after record I do the, the screen recording because maybe that also is gonna change things. But you have to remember that once you compress, then YouTube compresses, and then everything goes to crap, and that's the problem. So. All the cameras out there, they, they can be very good. It's just if they would have the option to a more actually uncompressed format, like ProRes, then you will get better quality out of the sensors, out of all the cameras. The problem is that they all compress the footage and then uh, the result is not so, you know, you, you're not retaining a lot of the information from the sensor because of that. That's why Blackmagic Cinema Camera basically it shoots RAW or ProRes and then the images are amazing. It gives you back all the information and you have it to work with it and then you compress when you're done your final result and then you're fine. And then, okay, you, YouTube compresses again and then, you know, that's the problem. It gets compressed so many times that it ends up, you know, you cannot tell the difference in time because of that. So, this is my uh, opinion. I think, you know, is the final result if you're going to give it to somebody else to edit again then you should maybe do it in ProRes because it makes a difference because it retains I think more information and it's not so compressed and then when they compress it it's not going to give them you know these artifacts the compression artifacts if you this is your final result you can do it as an MPEG because as far as the size go it's, it's a lot smaller uh, like we said before here the MP4 it's, it's 15 megabytes and then uh, the ProRes it's 182 megabytes so it's a huge difference in size as far as the image quality is the same but now if I would compress actually the mp4 again like if I bring it back into an editor and then compress it again it will be start to get crappy and I think the ProRes will still maintain the quality because it was not so compressed to begin with this will be the difference so I hope you enjoy it and uh, you learn something from it thank you for watching